Hey, it's Jay. Why don't we learn a little bit about Azure Bicep and do some infrastructure as code right here on Azure Fun Bites. Hey everybody, it's Jay. Well, you know, I've been playing around with a lot of the really cool tools that help me build things with Azure. And one of the things I've really got to learn a lot about lately is working with Bicep. And uh, Bicep is a language for declaratively uh, deploying Azure resources. And you can use Bicep instead of JSON uh, when you're developing uh, ARM templates, Azure Resource Manager. So Bicep simplifies the process, providing a concise syntax, better code for reuse, and improved type safety. Uh, Bicep's a DSL, a domain-specific language. So when we talk about using something like uh, Chef, Chef has a DSL of Ruby. And so you're building things to extend the actual Chef process using Ruby. Um, the same can be said about using uh, JSON uh, and Bicep files, or I should say Bicep files, uh, to convert JSON so that your ARM template can load them. Now, uh, one of the things that I've done uh, to really get started, and so I have to move my head back and forth, so I'm going to give you both views so you can always see my face while I'm going back and forth between my two screens. Um, one of the real big benefits of, of Bicep, and let, let's bring up this, is uh, support for all resource types and API versions. So uh, when there's a new service for Azure, Bicep just immediately supports it. Um, the authoring experience, uh, there's a Bicep extension here in VS Code. So let's look it up, Bicep. Bicep language support. Um, you'll get validation, IntelliSense for that um, uh, type definitions that are all stored and, and auto-completed, uh, resource property names and property values. Uh, you'll be able to list all the different types of resources that are available. Um, there's, there's of course, the auto-completions and then snippets uh, that you uh, can use that you can show up where they're valid. Code navigation, you can use peak. So you can look at um, the, the, those parts of your code that you want to take a specific look at. References within Peak, um, the outline view, the breadcrumb view, uh, highlight, so you can see highlights of specific symbols, uh, refactoring, so you can uh, use the rename symbol such as parameter resource and bicep will intelligent re rename all of that formatting, um, all these different things. Uh, so if, if you're using an editor uh, like VS Code, it's gonna make it a lot easier for you to get started uh, because VS Code has so many great tools already within it to help you get a great experience. Um, and, and so there, there are a couple of different ways you can create things within Bicep. And uh, there's this quick start. And what this quick start allows you to do is to uh, essentially create a resource with uh, Bicep. So why don't we do that together? So the first thing I want to do is create a terminal within here. And as you can see, I've got AZ CLI, or I, I, not AZ CLI, but uh, I have AZ CLI, that, that command is not going to work. A AZ uh, group create, and then let's give it a name and we'll call it uh, Bicep group, and then location, it will be uh, East US. And so now we'll create our resource group because we're going to need to do deployments. And in order to do our deployments, we're going to need to do it all through our, our resource group. And so uh, you can see here in this area right here, I've created my resource group. Uh, resource group is kind of like a carton of eggs. You put things in. Uh, you can take things out and you can throw away the whole resource group if you actually want to. So uh, let's go on and let, let's do this. Let's create a bicep file. So uh, what I'll do is I'll go here into VS Code, new file. Um, and, and so the first thing you want to do with this new file is you want to save it as um, the, the, 
the file with an extension of dot bicep. Uh, I've done this once before, so let's save this Azure deploy dot bicep. I'll just save over that file. Uh, replace. Yep. So now I've got a blank bicep file. You can see here, if I start typing, uh, you'll see that there are the resources that are uh, automatically auto-completed because it recognizes I'm using a bicep file. So what we're going to do with bicep today is add a basic storage account uh, to this resource file. So this is all in the documentation that you can get. It's, it's right with in your grasp, um, what you can do is you can go to this URL. Uh, I've created a short link for you so that you can go to that and you can make use of um, these same things and work uh, uh, and, and create your own uh, bicep created resources. So let's copy this and let's paste it in here. And uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to just turn on. Let's turn on we'll talk a word wrap just so it looks a little better. Uh, let's bring this out here a little bit more. And so let's take a look at what we've got here. So the resource is STG, that's storage. This is a, a resource, it's a keyword. It allows us to ref reference back to what exactly the type of resource we're gonna create. And so we've got right here specified the Microsoft storage, storage account that's from the standard uh, ARM template reference. If we go here, we take a look, we can define these different resources and ARM templates. Um, we can use uh, the, the, this, this specific API reference right here. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to give it a display name and, uh, or I should say a name. And so this is a globally unique name um, it, it's specific to what we want to call our storage account. Uh, there, there's some limitations on the length of our storage account names. So I'm just going to give it something unique. We'll call it JSTOR1212. Um, and next, uh, we've got our display name. And this is, I believe, uh, the, the tag that we're going to create uh, in our uh in our resource so that if we want to have tags created, we'll have that. Next we see uh, the SKU uh, that provides us with the name of the type of storage. And if we look here, I believe, let's see. So uh, if we started doing this from scratch, we can see that all these different resource types or SKU types are here in the autocomplete. So we can just click that the, st the tier types so of standard, premium, whatever. And so the kind is specifically uh, the storage that we're creating. And so uh, to deploy this, let's go over here. We see we have completion and validation. Um, we can see that there's all these different types of storage, whether it's blob storage, block storage, we're just gonna create a generic storage account. And what we can do next is add parameters. So uh, what we can do right here, is go to the top, add our parameters. And so we, we can use the storage account name here. Uh, and instead of using uh, a globally unique name, what we can do is just pop in storage account name. Uh, it, it, it works that way. So we have that parameter right here. Uh, storage account name must be globally unique. Uh, and, and so what we're going to do here is next deploy it. So let's save this file. Okay. And so now we've got, let's just take this out here. Don't need that. Uh, we've got our tag. And actually what we can do is have our tag match storage account name. So we've got that there. Yep. And, and all the other things are still the same. Uh, this is just about the length of the actual storage account name. It's three or 24. Uh, the minimum is three characters. The max is 24. And so now what we're going to do is actually deploy this bicep file. So what I'm going to do is just going to open up this for scratch pad and we're going to use the Azure uh, command line interface. And so I'll, I'll just copy this and, and you can see here, let me just turn on word wrap again. Um, you can use um, PowerShell as well.
So if you have the PowerShell Azure CLI uh, module installed, you'll be able to do that. Um, but we're going to just use Azure CLI. I like it the best. It's my favorite. It's bash friendly and I'm a bash nerd. So what we've got here is Azure deployment group. So this is essentially telling Azure that I want to create a deployment group. And uh, within that, I'm going to do it in our specific uh, resource group. So we called it bicep group. So I'll just change this here. Uh, the template file. Uh, let's go into where I've created. Let's see desktop. I've put it in CD desktop, um, and and I believe it's uh, bicep stream. Yep, and you'll see I've got Azure deployed out bicep, um, and and now we can specify the template file. Uh, the location will be relative to where you actually. Uh, run the AZ CLI deployment from. So if you've got it and say uh, you're running it from another directory and you want to specify, you know, desktop or something like that, you can do that. But we're going to be running it right from the directory. And so now here we have uh, parameters that we can set. And in this case, let's go back to the file. You can see uh, right here our parameter that we need to have uh, specified as the storage account name. So let's specify um, a, a unique name. And so it'll be J store one, two, one, two, save that. Uh, we don't need to save it. This is just scratch. So we're going to just copy this. And so what will happen if we go ahead and hit enter after we've copied and pasted in is that uh, Azure Deployment is going to start happening. Um, this is going to get sent. Let's see. The template deployment, uh, not a valid storage account name. Okay. So that's not a problem. It's just something with the name of my account. So JSTOR edge bicep. Let's try that. Okay. So what's going to happen is this should be sending everything to Azure Research, let's see, storage account name is not a valid storage account name. Okay, let's see what we've got. So there's something here that we did wrong. Param storage account name string. Okay, let's go back, let's take a look. We'll go into the beginner biceps tutorials and I believe if I go to this parameter section, I can, grab the file right here. Yep. Yep. Just wanted to grab the file and put it here. So same thing here. We have your param storage name, string um, name, storage name, and uh, the kind of storage, storage V2. So we'll be using uh, this bicep. Uh, sometimes you gotta make mistakes to get it right. And it, ain't that the truth? Uh, so let's deploy the file. As you can see, uh, Right here, same kind of concept. Uh, the only difference here is that uh, they, they specified a, a bash variable for bicep file. And so I could do that right here by just doing bicep file equal uh, Azure deploy dot bicep. And so now uh, what I can do here, go here, put this back in our scratch, our resource group, bicep group, uh, and now we have our parameter, um, we'll call storage name here, a store 01. Okay. Thanks for being patient with me because sometimes when you do it and you do it live, uh, these things, little things happen. So as you can see now, I've, I've ran the deployment and it's now essentially applying the Azure Resource Manager template uh, in bicep style and uh, over to Azure Resource Manager. And Azure Resource Manager is going to see the instructions and say, I want to uh, create a storage account. Uh, I want to give a parameter as the name. And so we have it here. Uh, the location I want to build it in is East US. Uh, the name is standard LRS. The kind of storage we want to create is V2. Uh, and, and the properties of, of special options that we have is supports HTTPS traffic only. 
So this is succeeded and we can see what our output is. And our output uh, essentially gives us the correlation, the duration of how long it took to create, um, then the full ID. So we see here subscription, my subscription number, the resource group, uh, the bicep group, providers, uh, the specific Microsoft storage, storage accounts, and JSTOR01 is the storage we created. And so if I go here and I go into the portal, I'm going to show you we've got um, our resource groups, bicep group that we created. Here's our JSTOR storage account. And if you actually go into deployments here, you'll see the add name parameter uh, deployment that we ran. And uh, we can actually, if we wanted to download the deployment, we can do that. Um, we could also look at the actual template uh, in, I believe this would be, yeah, this is in the standard JSON style. So this is what it actually converted what we built into an ARM template. So we have the two to compare. So we created a storage account together. Uh, we used Azure Bicep. We went through using the actual uh, extension within VS Code. This is a real simple uh, getting started. Uh, there are more advanced things that you can use. Uh, one of the great places that you can get started in to see uh, a lot of the different types of um, templates that exist, which I think you'll like, is the uh, Bicep Playground. And let me bring that up for you real quick before we finish. Uh, the Bicep Playground, it actually gives you uh, comparisons between the sample templates that are created in our quick starts. So here we have what a hello world looks like in a, uh, a standard JSON ARM template, and then it converts it over here to um, the bicep format. So that, that's pretty much it. Um, so let's, let's remind each other, you can check out um, the bicep documentation. Uh, I, it's uh, go ahead and check out this URL. Um, I really recommend you watch this video with Brendan Burns. It's really interesting. It gives you some of the reasons why and how. Um, and, and then run through these tutorials. I think that they're really uh, great for you to use to learn. So uh, that that's it for me. Uh, you can always uh, keep your eyes on Azure Fun Bites. Uh, Azure Fun Bites every Thursday, 2 p.m. on the East Coast, 11 a.m. Pacific. Uh, give us a show, uh, a, a view. Uh, give me a shout. Let me know what you think of this video. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.